We're here today to film our MTV special, the show for you. We're going to meet some of our fans, answer a few questions, and we're also going to perform a few tracks exclusively for my new album. I think everybody's feeling quite stressed and nervous because it is such a big thing and we've done a lot of work and preparation for it and stuff so we really want it to be good. I'm not going to fall out anywhere. Standby presenters. Four. There they are, there's Cheryl, Sarah, Nadine, Nicola and Kimberly, all looking as radiant as ever. We're going to get the interrogation on the road very, very soon. Now, you've got five quite cute dancers. Yeah, we do. Is it nice having five cute dancers or do you prefer doing it on your own? No, it's nice for a change, isn't yeah. it? Because we usually, like, most of our performances is just the five of us, so that just adds a little bit of a excitement. But it's the, the five of you always looking very sexy. Uh, we you do. do good we things with we my sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I'd love to sit and chat with you all day, but these guys have come to talk to you. Okay. Um, they're, they're a especially invited audience, and DP's over with our first yes, question. Our interrogation is going to start with you, Sarah. I've got Steve here from York. Steve? Right, the first question, Sarah. All right. Do you think that you've finally shifted your pop star label? And if yes, how would you advise other reality TV pop stars? Okay, that is a tough one. I'd like to think that we have, because we're still here today, and we're doing this show for a start, which, and you guys are all here, which is really, really good. It's a difficult I think, question. I think now it's more so about the band rather than where we actually came mm. from. So it's more like people... I think we're more credible because of our music now, and, and they're still buying our singles, so who cares either way. <laughs> um, in, in the beginning, were you worried? Did you expect to survive? Because there were bands like Hearsay that just dropped off the face of the earth and were never seen again. Did, yeah, was it a concern for you? Also, there's, there's Gareth Gates, there was Will Young, there was Liberty X, that. so there was a lot of success there as well. People just like to dwell on the bad things, and now there's us. Five, Proved six singles down the lane, yeah. That goodness. Uh, DP? That answers your question, Steve. Isn't it? Excellent. Our next question is from Oliver, all the way from Aberdeen, Scotland. Oliver. Hi, Miss Walsh. Now that the band... Miss Walsh? I like it. <laughs> you can call her Kimberly. <laughs> Kim, now that the band's got really big, have you found that you and the girls are starting to fight and argue a bit more? Well, we don't really have fights, but obviously there's like little arguments over stupid things like makeup, what we're going to watch on telly, who's wearing what. If two of us like the same thing, it's like, well, I want it, well, I want it. It's just one of those things that's just girls. How many times you have you said to you? Me? Yeah, you go. Oh, you can have a bit, you do. We're only playing with that, aren't you? But I think we're probably closer than we've ever been now, to be honest. Just and more like sisters more you, than anything. You, yeah, now. you're always going to disagree. I mean, even yeah. if I'm around my mum for two or three days, there's an argument of some sort. <laughs> so no it's just it's human nature. Now it's time for another. Um, is that is that one of your favourites to perform? Do you have a favourite that you, you like performing the most? That is yeah. my favourite, actually, yeah. if I'm honest. Okay, back to the audience for some more questions. Right, our next question is for Nicola. We have Jen here from Newcastle to do the honours. Hi, Nicola. Um, yeah. Just wondering, which celebrity would you choose to be your love machine? <laughs> uh, probably Eminem. Just because he's cute and he's really talented and I just love him. He's very cool. Let's go down the line with that one, actually. Kimberly, who would you pick? Pharrell. Oh, that's a good he's choice. I've taken him now, girl, so you better stop thinking. <laughs> Denzel Washington. Oh. But I'm an older man. Well, if we're talking older men, um, no. DP. Oh. Excellent. I've got Excellent. a list as long as me arm if you've got all D. Go on, knock them out. Um, Usher, Justin, Pharrell, obviously. Um, 50 Cent. George Clooney, for going for that older man thing. Mm. See, that's He's got a lot of tea. sex appeal. DP, what's the next one? Our next question is from Nicola, all the way from lovely Green Ireland. Hi Nadine, what is it like to be the only person in the world to win two series of pop stars? I've never thought about that before. I don't know, I don't like to think about it because it's, which, I don't know, it makes me feel weird, it makes me think, oh, as you say, the only person in the world to have done it. 
well, I'm glad that I won it the second time around, <laughs> or else I wouldn't be here. So I'm just really pleased that I had people like the whole way through that were supporting me and 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 liked. I don't know, just give me the chance. So I'm really grateful. I think we're all glad that she could be could put oh, herself through the trauma you. twice so that she could be an Avant. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise. Yeah, well, things are meant for you, and I think this was definitely meant for me. <laughs>